One week after Hurricane Irma made landfall in the British Virgin Islands, concerned citizens moved to secure essential supplies that was housed in the now gutted Central Administration building, which was totally annihilated by Irma's 185 miles per hour winds on September 6. I do not believe that we expected the type of devastation that you are seeing right now, but it is a lot of destruction, lots from east to west, north to south, everybody was affected. We lost everything in our house. We can't find our appliances, our gas bottles, everything just flew away. We will survive. We as a resilient set of people, we now getting some supplies that we can use, water, some other stuff that was in storage. We trying to secure it from the looters and other people who have been accessing the building without permission. Residents tell One Caribbean Television that they're counting on the government's distribution systems to prevent conditions from worsening. My main concern now is just to really get some food because you can't really get no food. But I appeal to government to start the distribution channel quickly for water and food supply. They are running short. Most people supply has run out or is running out. The territory's premier, Dr. Orlando Smith, has confirmed that aid and supplies are pouring in from the Caribbean and the UK. The premier told One Caribbean Television that communication challenges hampered food distribution in the immediate aftermath of the storm, but denies a food shortage in the territory. And there is sufficient food and water within the country to last for another three or four weeks. And there's more aid coming in to provide continued food and shelter to people. And uh, there's, a, there's a system now in place for distribution, an improved system for distribution. So I'm, I'm confident that um, the aid supplies, whether food or water, will be able to reach those in need. O'Neill Sanford Bell reporting from hurricane-torn Tortola, British Virgin Islands for One Caribbean Television.